Alright. Look out, dog. Okay. Now this is Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> We're gonna start with a hymn we did last November, so it's not that long ago, but it fits so well with the text today. It's called Preach You the Word by Martin Franzman. He's, yeah. he's also very good. Very good lyricist. Number five hundred eighty six. Five eighty six. And Lydia, no capo. So much easier, except that you gotta reach that G minor really fast. So and I'm never very good with the B flat. You know, show me how to do that. We have an audience. We got five of them. <laughs> teach beside the sea, and a very large crowd gathered about him, so that he got into a boat and sat in it on the sea, and the whole crowd was beside the sea on the land. And he was teaching them many things in parables, and in his teaching he said to them, Listen, behold a sower went out to sow, and as he sowed, some seed fell along the path and the birds came and devoured it. Other seed fell on rocky ground, where it did not have much soil, and immediately it sprang up since it had no depth of soil. And when the sun rose, it was scorched, and since it had no root, it withered away. Other seed fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked it, and it yielded no grain. And other seeds fell into good soil and produced grain, growing up and increasing and yielding thirtyfold and sixtyfold and a hundredfold. And Jesus said, He who has ears to hear, let him hear. And when he was alone, those around him with the twelve asked him about the parables. And he said to them, to you 
has been given the secret of the kingdom of God. But for those outside, everything is in parables, so that they may indeed see, but not perceive, and may indeed hear, but not understand, lest they should turn and be forgiven. And he said to them, Do you not understand this parable? How then will you understand all the parables? The sower sows the word, and these are the ones along the path where the word is sown. When they hear, Satan immediately comes and takes away the word that is sown in them. And these are the ones sown on rocky ground, the ones who, when they hear the word, immediately receive it with joy. And they have no root in themselves, but endure for a while. Then, when tribulation or persecution arises on account of the word, immediately they fall away. And others are the ones sown among thorns. They are those who hear the word, but the cares of the world and the deceitfulness of riches and the desires of, for other things enters in and choke the word, and it proves unfruitful. But those that were sown on the good soil are the ones who hear the word and accept it and bear fruit thirtyfold and sixtyfold and a hundredfold. How do you picture this audience? Hmm. You think it's a very large audience. There might be a Is lot it a of... friendly audience? Is it a is it an excited audience? Attentive audience. Are they all being quiet? I'm sure they're attentive. Walking around. <laughs> well, I mean, so the, it's a large audience because they're pressing against Jesus as like driving him up against the against the shore. Mm -hmm. um, like they push him into the water. They're, they're just pressing and pressing. And I wonder, given the context that he's been challenged by his family members, that he's been called... Beelzebub, that he you know that he does power does cast out demons by the power of demons. I don't I don't suppose you have ever experienced this when somebody comes up to you and you know gets in your space and is literally pushing you back. Have you ever had that happen? No, I I try to stay away from yeah this people like that in situations like well. Uh, for a lot of guys in middle school and high school, that's a more common experience, um, where there's that challenge, and and people are, even if it's not a physical altercation, when they're arguing with you physically, they get up in your face, right? I don't know what that looked like on the screen. <laughs> Probably really bad. Um, yeah, the this crowd is pushing up against Jesus, and the, and. This, the tone of how he starts suggests that maybe Jesus is pushing back. He gets out on the boat and he says, listen. It's an imperative. Listen. And he doesn't always say that. True. And then he says, look. Listen. Look. A sower went out to sow. And he sows all the seed. And who's the sower? It's obviously Jesus himself. I came here. I'm throwing this out for all of you. But what are you going to do? And, and Jesus is explaining what happened in chapter 3. That yet some people are, are his enemies. And the seed is not going to take root. And some people, oh, 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 we love you. Oh, you're amazing. The seed will take root for a little bit. But not really. It has no depth. And as soon as there's any problem, well, he was really interesting, but uh, I got to be at an appointment. Right? And, and Jesus is expecting that the audience that he's speaking to well, I mean, he was just at Capernaum. Is this the same people? 
that he later condemns because they see all the miracles, but they don't believe. And they're excited and they press around, but they don't really trust in him. So, we tend to view the parables, to, to view the Gospels, through this kind of Sunday school leaflet imagery that everything, everybody loves Jesus, except at the very end, right? Everybody loves Jesus, except a very few bad people. No. Everybody doesn't love Jesus. Even though Jesus is very loving, and yet Jesus doesn't always come across as loving because Jesus is like God the Father, just and holy and perfect. And so he comes and he confronts the world. And he might confront you. He might, he might push back a little in areas of your life that you aren't comfortable for him to speak. And so you will not listen and not look and maybe speak too much or speak too quickly. Jesus' parables, and we're going to get into a series of them. They may confront parts of our lives that are less we're less comfortable being honest about them like this crowd Jesus says those who listen those who receive the word there's a harvest they they bear fruit if if we listen even in the things that are uncomfortable to us there's there is great blessing. There's something there for you. Don't assume that Jesus will always be easy to hear. Or that others will always welcome his word. Or that even you yourself will find it easy and pleasant. But know this. That he is there to scatter the word, the seed. Whether people accept it or not, he gives them the word anyway. And the Holy Spirit works wherever the word is preached. And it does not return to him empty. But it achieves its purpose. Preach you the word, we sang in the hymn. And it's not just about pastors. It is, it is a hymn... Uh, about what has been placed in our hands, that we have, ourselves, the seed to sow. Heavenly Father, thank you for the beginning of this day, for the beginning of a new week. We have called our devotion New Mercies Every Morning, because every day we start once again. Lord, we pray that that by your Holy Spirit, we will become those who are permeable to your word. Those who can be penetrated by your truth. That we will be vulnerable to you and open to hearing and to, to seeing. Show us today, Lord, the truth about ourselves and our life. Grant that we may Show to the world the truth about you and your love for them. In Jesus' precious name, amen. amen. And now may the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with his favor and give you peace. Amen. amen. Squeeze your